Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I'm so excited to do this video. I've been waiting for hours because I read this right after I recorded my last video, um, and it's real cringy, it's real terrible, it's real stupid, and no, oh, that's just that's just fun. Um, so I gotta say, I'm actually awarding myself an award. I read a terrible B. Clay Moore comic that nobody else read in the whole country, um, and I got more than 10,000 views talking about. It. Now I kind of had to hide it and not mention it in the title or the thumbnail, but. I, I was actually impressed with myself. I got like halfway through that thing. I was like, I, I can't finish this thing. This is awful. So speaking of awful, here's the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man by a Trump-obsessed Australian uh, Tom Taylor. Um, so this is uh, started, you know, earlier this year. And it's kind of like a flat, okay -ish start. I dipped out. I forgot about it. I was talking to Yellow Flash because he's a big Spider-Man guy. And he's like... I was like, did this take a hard SJW turn? He's like, it did, but it was always kind of building from there. Um, and let's just <laughs> let's just drink in the awfulness, first of all. Okay, so who is who's the star of this comic? Because it's either Captain America's Shield or maybe this big empty space. Either one of those two are the star. Oh wait, it's this mincing fellow right here. Cause that looks more like a guest star. Oh, no, actually, this story is about the tiniest f person on the cover, who is, uh, well, let's get into it. I don't read this page. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I started on the storyline. Uh, the evil um, person right here, he does a crowdfunding website. Yeah, he's evil because he crowdfunds things that wanted, people want to pay up. And then uh, Hobie Brown, the Prowler, he had a friend who was sick. And then he thinks that his friend didn't get the money from this guy's website, but he's not sure. This is the plot for Marvel Comics in 2019. So anyway, uh, one of the things you got to learn is in SJW Comics, whoa, Spider-Man is going to be a guest star at best. This, of course, is all the uh, woke, uh, uh, you know, um, check-in-the-box diversity. I knew he was going for old lady like uh, the um, age diversity, but then we find out that she's also Asian, and she was um, in an internment camp in World War II. Okay, let's go back. Um, so she's fighting the guy who crowdfunds people's... Uh, he runs a website where you can give money to help crowdfund your friends getting surgery or late on the rent or something like that this is evil because everyone should just get everything for free if you think i'm being arch or sarcastic that's it's the actual story um so then uh what does he say stay back spider-man and he stays back yes this is the completely passive i can't call him a hero I can, all i can say is his name's in the title and no he is never awesome as my rule about the title goes the rule is if you're in the title you have to be awesome in every issue um he just he, he he listens to her hey men you've had your turn when a random character who's been in three or four issues of your series tells you what to do you do it mister um so then he takes her back to the uh the house and he starts brewing some tea i'll make tea you really are a hero <laughs> that's all he oh wait correction he does do something awesome he makes tea so then we find out about her story and it is a combination of uh very sad in a real world way while also just being just oddly written so she's like oh let me tell you about my uh, story i was in an internment camp in world war ii you're like wait what i didn't know you were asian you just seem to be drawn like a generic old white lady i mean you know the way you know old white ladies are drawn in comics okay so you're asian wait so you're asian and you're you're jap wait but you were trying to do a story about japanese internment now usually the you know the step about that you know is you talk about the reality that there are american citizens that were interned because of and i i, I googled it because i wanted to learn more about the internment program um in the 1980s they did an investigation and they did reparations and they found it was due to the internment program for citizens was due to racism, uh, 
war. Oh God, what was the word? It was it was basically like freaking out, and then uh, a lack of political leadership. I thought that was a very good uh, explanation of it. Um, but the problem is the tragedy about internment is that American citizens of Japanese descent were interred just because they were the same race as the Japanese nationals that attacked Pearl Harbor. The problem is she was a Japanese national. She was basically their Captain America. And then it literally says, after a few missions in the field, I came here in 1941. So you are an, an enemy combatant who we're going to assume killed American soldiers or sailors as she was operating in the Pacific for multiple years. Uh, and uh, the, it, it's all very like loosey goosey. Like they don't really explain it that well. She's just like, oh, and then I, I came here. Well, what did you do? Did you turn yourself in or were you on a you know secret mission for, you know, the Empire of Japan? And then there came a time after I'd been fighting Nazis with Captain America in the 1940s. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? You're a Japanese national who fought for the Jap Japanese Empire in World War II. You then kind of vaguely gave up or switched sides, and then they sent you to fight Nazis. First of all, your powers aren't that ma amazing. She has, like, sensory powers. Also, why do your sensory powers make you still alive when you should be, like, dying of old age? Whatever. whatever. Hey! Um, hey, I'm just going to be making some tea over here. What was Cap like? What was Steve like? He was a prude. So I, don't know, I guess you had a crush on him? That's what you remember from World War II? Not being a, a, a killing Americans or allies of Americans in World War II and then vaguely giving up. And then so then uh, then they come for her and he's like, knock, knock. And uh, Captain America, who, please, please look at the screen. They were too lazy to draw the scales, so they just got Zipatone and put him on there, which makes it look like he's a hologram speaking to her. And he's like, knock, knock, internment camp, uh, special delivery. And she's like, uh, am I going to an internment camp? He's like, yeah, I'm super sad about it, uh, if, but I'm here to wait. What? Okay, so here's the deal. Captain America was not personally delivering people to internment camps. Captain America was fighting Bund, you know, German Bund in America before the war. And then during the war, he was fighting mostly in Europe, sometimes in North Africa, sometimes um, in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Pacific. The idea that he was personally delivering people to internment camps is absolutely ridiculous. Um, they also do this weird thing where they're doing the flashback. Look, it's the flashback, and then it goes from color to black and white. Just like, okay, it should have started black and white. Oh, wow, what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do the, the color and black and white thing to delineate the present from the past. They literally go past, 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 oh, just whatever. Just, just have it be black and white for five panels and then go right back. Uh, and again... The tragedy about the internment camps is that <laughs> I was going to make a dumb political joke uh, uh, is that citizens who did nothing wrong were interned. It's not enemy combatants who vaguely gave up and were apparently given very nice homes. They're like, hey, you know what? N zero part of your story makes sense. You were basically the Japanese Captain America you just kind of like bluff it after a few missions in the field. Okay, so after you killed a bunch of enemies who are us, the allies, you killed us, you killed our side, and then you just kind of vaguely gave up. Well, I burned my boat. Doesn't that make up for it? I don't know. How many American sailors were in that boat when you burned it? Um, and then you're like, oh, wait, I have to wait. I can't just walk free after I attacked Americans during the war? Well, no. Hologram cap says no. Um... So then, oh, it just goes on forever. And uh, then we cut back to, and girl, he's still making that tea. Girl, and she's spilling that tea. Am I right? Um, so then she says, uh, so then uh, we, we move from the uh, actual uh, tragedy of American citizens being interred because of their race 
to uh can we say like a current year tragedy of like crowdfunding am i right like everything should be like totes free yes like i said in a previous video tom taylor is a male thought uh uh so then he's like so the guy who ran the internment camps uh is now uh he has a crowdfunding website that's evil Just close your doors, Marvel. At this point, just close them. Yeah. So then we got Sailwee Billy, um, Mincing Spider-Man, who's basically done nothing but make tea this entire issue. And then he gives a thumbs up sees. I bet he wanted to do a finger gunsies, but he, he would have spilled the tea he was making for the 100-year-old uh, uh, Japanese assassin that killed American sailors and then got a free house during the war. So, obviously, I can't show all of it. By the way, you're welcome. Um, so, I'm actually fairly good Kevin Lashley art. He's a uh, really good artist who just gets put on trash all the time. Oh, and look! The other man is sitting in an effeminate manner with his knees together and drinking those little... Oh, and uh, if you wonder if she just got really badly beaten and that's why she looks like that, no. It's just you have two artists for no damn reason, and the two artists draw her completely differently. Um, and then it ends on the uh, note of uh, Spider-Man wants Tony Stark to take down capitalism. I need a favor. What kind of favor? I need to punch a whole corrupt system in the face. You go, girl. So, uh, wow, that really just took all the wind out of my sails. Uh, so, capitalism be totes bad. And crowdfunding is put on an equal level of evil as in turning. Citizens during World War II because of the race. Also, if you uh, fight for the Japanese Empire and kill a bunch of, I'm going to assume, Americans and Australians uh, during the first couple years of the war, you should get rewarded for a house. And it's super tragic if all of a sudden they go, wait, wait, why did we give her a house again? Wait, wait she's like the Japanese Captain America. Wait, she just said she give up is it possible she's lying about that so anyway thanks for watching subscribe make sure you're still subscribed hit the bell for notifications tom taylor is a male thought it does exist tom taylor is a prime example um and uh, i'll have uh more marvel garbage tomorrow thanks for watching